Greetings. Welcome to part one of this detailed step-by-step -step guide on creating a complete car service website with WordPress using the Bricks Builder theme. In this first segment, we'll dive into building the front page, setting up dynamic grids, adding some eye-catching hover animations, and laying out the dynamic content areas. Along the way, we'll create templates in Bricks and set up essential theme styles, covering typography, color schemes, container widths, and button defaults to give the site a professional look right from the start. In part two, we'll continue by designing the other pages, like the blog, contact, services, and about pages, so that by the end, you'll have a fully functional and beautifully cohesive website. Our inspiration for this design comes from a free starter template by Bloxy, a fantastic block-based theme known for its versatility and ease of use. If you're into block-based themes, definitely give Bloxy a try. Here, though, we'll stick strictly to Bricks Builder, with no additional plugins or add ONS, keeping it simple and streamlined. To bring this site to life, we'll use demo content and free images from Freepik to make it visually engaging. And for those following along, if you're interested in getting a website developed just like this or have ideas for your own project, feel free to let me know in the comments. Now, let's get started. Here's a preview of the front page we'll be crafting today. Please note, this tutorial is for someone who has knowledge of WordPress and some basics of Bricks Builder. We first need a logo for our website, to be able to fill fave icon and logo elements on website. Head over to sgrepo.com to grab some car icons. We download the steering wheel and take it to Affinity Designer. You may use any design software of your choice. Open a new artboard project and give it a size of 500 by 200 pixels or as per your logo idea. Bring over the SVG logo here, shrink it to the size we want and arrange it on one side. Here we add text to it and change colors to have both dark and light versions of the logo. Crop the extra space taken by these icons. Give it a transparent background and save it as a PNG. SVGs are coded files, so to change the color of the icon, we can do it in code. Look for black hexadecimal code of number 000 and replace it with hash FFF. Since this isn't a logo tutorial, it'll speed up this part. Over to our WordPress install. Under Pages menu on left admin panel, I created few empty pages with names as the specified menu items. Home, About, Services etc. It is simple to create pages, just click on Add New Pages under Pages, give it a name and publish it. For Menu, go to Appearance and click on Menu. Here you can create a new menu by giving it any name. I have added the empty pages to the menu. You can create a menu like footer one and add custom links to it or the pages as required. Let's head on to making a header template now. We call it header template two. Select type of header and publish it. Since we will be using logo element and fave icon, let's first go and set that in settings under general. Give a name for site title, tagline, and select an image for favicon which appears on the tabs in browser. Crop it slightly and save. 
You can select time zone here as well. In reading menu, select static page, set home page as home and blog page as blog and save. Then go to permalinks, select desired URL you prefer and hit save. Let's get back to the header template now. Add a new section here. Looking at our design, we have two headers, one thin and other thick with the menus. The page is boxed, that is width is defined and all elements are within this. On left is logo, center is menu and right is a button with number and hover effect. Start by adding a logo element. Add the white logo as background is blue. Give it a height of 100. Add a black logo for inverse in case we change background design later on. For styling, we create defaults under theme styles. Click on the gear icon, then on theme styles and add a new style by giving it a name. Now you see lot of drop downs where we can set our default styles which will be applied to elements when they are imported to the scene. In general, set it to wide. Under typography, set the default to 100% in relation to pixels and REM. Set your color palette here. Click on add new style and start adding colors. Get your hexadecimal codes of color from a Chrome extension and paste them in the palette, then click on save. Do the same for all the colors you wish to add to your palette. First we added blue, then white. We need black for text. Light gray for text. Click on list view and give your colors a name. This step can be omitted but best to do this to have a clear understanding later. Same way, set your default typography. Set your heading font, text to paragraph font. Then we need to add button default. More colors can be added as and when needed. For now, go to element button and give it a background color. Hover effects can be given as well, but we'll do that later. Next element to be added here is nav menu. We have two options here, first is nav menu which is an older method. Center the items in the container by using alignment options under container element. We are using flexbox with horizontal direction for elements so that they align left to right. This has some limited options. The new navigation menu is named with nestable in brackets. We use this one in this tutorial. Add link name, link it to internal page and specify the page you want to link it to, as shown in the video. As per design, change the font weight, font style and color. 
Once all the settings are applied to this menu, then duplicate it, else you will end up doing this for each menu item. One more thing before duplicating would be to add a hover effect. Click on the arrow in top menu bar next to Brick's logo. Select hover from drop down and assign its style you want when you hover on the menu. In this case, it is to change color of menu item to white from light gray. Also, the item becomes bold when active. Set the same for the active from the drop down of the arrow. Now duplicate home menu item, change the internal links and menu name. This way we have our menu sorted and will each be designed step by step in coming videos. This video, we design the home page. Once the menu is added, in the flex box of container element, try different arrangements like space between, space end etc. Space between would be ideal. Best would be to add the button and then try this to understand placement better. Add the button element. Remove the default primary tag and see it becomes blue. This is because we had put that in the theme styles. Color of this button is lighter, not darker than our background blue. So we can add this color to our color palette and also change it in the theme style so next time onwards, we don't have to make this change. Add the hover animation to this by selecting the arrow next to Brick's logo, give it a darker background on hover. Now that's done, we need the cursor to change to hand symbol when we hover on this button. Let's scan through the options to see if there is an inbuilt option for that. Quick check didn't result in an option, so let's add a two line simple CSS code. Percent root percent refers to the element itself and cursor equating to cursor means we need a hand symbol. That is it. Next step in header is to add the darker section of the header which has social media icons and operational days with hours. Details like this can be added in options page when you use tools for custom post types etc. Here this isn't needed. For this header start by adding another section on top of the current header. Name the sections to avoid confusion. Start adding elements, first add basic text and type in the details of opening days and hours as in the reference. Then add three icons. Select the respective social icon from the options like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram.
Put these icons in a block. This helps arrange them better using Flexbox and by setting direction to horizontal in block element. To get both the elements in one line, go to container element and set direction to horizontal. Now you see that text on right comes in two lines instead of one. To correct this, do the following. 1. Set the icon sizes to 1 REM and align the to middle, vertically. Give icon some padding of 0.5 REM. Two, set width of both elements to 50%, that is, block and text elements. Three, then use a property under block element called flex grow. Set value for this to one. This means, till there is extra space, this element can grow even though its width is set to 50%. As soon as you set this to 1, you notice the basic text is pushed to right but remains in the same line. Column gap can be used instead of padding between the icons too. Now set hover animation same as we did for the button and menu item. On hover, the color changes to white from light gray. For better accessibility, do add name and title for ARIA label and attribute. Do the same with all icons. Link icons to external URL links to your social media pages and mark to open them in new tab. This section needs some padding, so go to container and give it padding top and bottom. Text data is more bold in the design, so let's do that. You may play around with the font size as required. In the next video, we will start designing our home page, so subscribe and stay tuned. In comment section, don't forget to send links to designs that you wish to be converted to websites. The best design will become our next tutorial for website development using Bricks Builder. See you soon. Anchit signing off.